and Ronaldo loves the Champions League. Any team can win the Champions League. It's, I think, 12 games across the whole campaign, group stage and knockouts. United have got a chance. Cristiano Ronaldo's debut against Newcastle was nothing short of spectacular. Two goals, 4-1 win against Newcastle. It was everything we could have dreamt it to be on his return to Old Trafford. And on Tuesday night against Young Boys, our Champions League campaign kicks off. And Ronaldo loves the Champions League. And of all the things that United could win this season, I would probably say we've got a real chance in the Champions League. And the Champions League and the Premier League are the two trophies that have eluded us since Fergie retired. And can Ronaldo, is he good enough to steer us towards winning it this year? As Chelsea showed when they won it, not last time, the one before, any team can win the Champions League. It's, I think, 12 games across the whole campaign, group stage and knockouts. United have got a chance. So who's going to start? on Tuesday night against Young Boys. For me, this is actually a really difficult starting eleven to predict because on the one hand, you're saying Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has to rotate this season. He has to keep his players fresh. On the other hand, you're looking at this and going, this is the first game of the Champions League. Surely De Gea will play a strong team, start off with three points and set the tone. So what I'm going to do is go through my predicted eleven in this video with you. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new, but let's take a look at the team that I think the Solskjaer will start in this game. And in goal... It's obviously going to be David De Gea. Dean Henderson played for the under-23s against Arsenal, who I think lost. It was 2-0 at least the last time I saw. Dean's going to have a struggle getting back in to this team with De Gea playing like this. This is like 2016 De Gea. That pass for to Greenwood for Bruno's goal against Newcastle was unreal. Out of the hands. Amazing. This De Gea is one of the best in the world. And De Gea will keep his place in the team. Now in the back five, you let me know in the comments below. Do you think that there will be any sort of change from Solskjaer? Because I don't think there will be. I think we'll see Wan-Bissaka, Maguire, Varane and Shaw. And I, I just, I, I'd be very surprised if Solskjaer made wholesale changes to this team against Young Boys. And I know I've said all summer long, and I've said at the start of the season, I pointed it out in the five things I think Solskjaer has to improve on this year. That's squad rotation. I'm just not sure the first Champions League game is where that rotation comes in. Although it's only three days after Newcastle. So it's, a, it's two quick games and United have to travel to play young boys. You let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But Varane, Rolls-Royce. Varane was unbelievable against Newcastle. Ronaldo took the spotlight, but Varane was just on a different level of defending. He's unbelievable. And he will definitely be a huge aspect that United need to keep in the team for the Champions League this year. He's got the experience of it. So if we're looking at the experience, it's Varane and Ronaldo. They've added our new edge in the Champions League. So they're probably going to be the two focal points in our team in most games. And Maguire, he made a mistake. He shouldn't have gone to ground. He was overshadowed by Varane, but Maguire is probably going to play every game this season. Well, like it or lump it, he probably will. Although Solskjaer does need to rotate and he's got Lindelof and by his decent backups. Shaw and Wan-Bissaka, I thought, were ineffective in the first half against uh, Newcastle, but they don't, I think they're going to keep their place in this team. I'd be surprised if he changes that back five that kept a clean sheet. No, no, didn't keep a clean sheet against Newcastle. I forgot about that Mankia goal. That was annoying. But we're looking good this season defensively. Strong overall as a unit, and it's important that we keep building that momentum. So even though it's only three days since Newcastle, I think he'll keep that team. Now, it's in midfield and attack where I think we can rotate, and I think we can see changes. Although I'm not expecting that many in this game against young boys. I'm actually expecting Matic and Fred. Obviously, a change bringing Fred back in there for Paul Pogba. Pogba played, I believe he played all 90, all the games for France during the international break. He had a very busy period, but he got two assists there against Newcastle. Was it one or two? He's on seven for the season now. Unreal. Seven assists in four games. Come on, Ronaldo. You're taking the piss. Unbelievable from him. Fred, I think, will come back into the team. I, I, I don't think he's banned. I'm pretty sure he was available. Oh, of course he was. He was on the bench against Newcastle. Fred, I think, will start this game. And Matic. Now, the question mark here in midfield is, of course, about Matic. But I don't think I... I personally wouldn't want Solskjaer to risk playing McTominay. And I don't think he will. Therefore, I'm putting Matic back in. And Matic is, of all the players in this team, the player who's going to suffer the most from playing two games in three days is Nemanja Matic. But what options do you have? Do you play Pogba deeper with Fred? Pogba and Fred? I mean, that could work. I don't think it would work. But it, it could on paper. And young boys... It's in Europe, you're going to get more space. You're not going to get as as pressed as intensely. So there might be a little bit more room for manoeuvre in midfield. So maybe you'll see Pogba play there instead of Matic. I think that's the one I probably I might get wrong putting Matic in, but this is a predicted 11 I think we'll see. So I'm sticking with it. And I think it'll be Matic and Freddie midfield. I think as soon as McTominay is fit and capable, he will come back into our team and he should come back into our team. I think he's the most dynamic of our midfield options that we've got in the squad. It's not good enough compared to what we've got in attack and defence. 
But McTominay, for me, as soon as he's fit and ready, bring him back in. Let's move on to the attack. And as I said, and I keep, I keep repeating that Solskjaer needs to rotate this year. I just don't think he will against young boys. I'm putting Sancho, Bruno and Greenwood down as the front three behind, of course, Cristiano Ronaldo. He's starting, no questions. Sancho. The reason I'm putting Sancho in this game is because I think Solskjaer will look at Sancho and, goes, he, and go, he needs a goal to sort of get his confidence flowing. And he'll look at young boys in the Champions League and go, yeah. Yeah, that's an opportunity for him. It should be an easier game than the Premier League for Sancho. And, as, and I'm pretty damn certain that it's, a, it's going to be a floodgates thing with him. As soon as he gets that, the goals and the assists under his belt, they're all going to start flying through. And I think Solskjaer will see this as a massive opportunity for Sancho to sort of get that monkey off his back, get that goal in, celebrate. Cool. Now I'm settled in at Manchester United. And that's why I'm starting him. Instead of Pogba, as you can see, leaving Pogba out of this team, he played a lot during the internationals. I want Pogba to be fit and fresh for all of our Premier League games, more important than, uh, is it more important than Champions League game? Maybe not more important, but I think it's more important in this game for Sancho to get his first goal than it is to play Pogba. That's why I'm putting him here. But as I said, I might get Fred and Matic wrong in midfield and you could see Pogba dropping deeper. So you might get Pogba and Sancho playing together. Playing Bruno through the middle, his goal against Newcastle was a massive, don't you dare forget about me, cry. Unreal goal. Two Portuguese kings at the club right now. We're privileged to be watching this United team with these players and Bruno. He'll want to win the Champions League and he's the mentality that we need. Now, Greenwood, there's questions you can ask here because maybe you can rest Mason Greenwood, play Jesse Lingard after his excellent cameo against Newcastle after he impressed with England against Andorra, scored two goals in the international break. It's about rotation. Maybe you'll see Martial coming in, but I just can't see it. Not for this game and I'm playing Ronaldo up front. I think Greenwood... He's going to struggle to get too much game time through the middle. You could play Cavani here. You've got Cavani, Martial, Lingard, Van der Beek could come in. I just don't think that Solskjaer will do it. And I don't. I hope this isn't something that he does all season long. But I think Solskjaer will be looking at this game against the young boys and going, you know what? We need to set the tone in the Champions League this year. Let's start off with a big win. Let's start off with a strong performance. And that it means that when you go towards October time, when the fixtures really start piling up and we're playing Leicester, we're playing Liverpool, we're playing Spurs, that's when Solskjaer will therefore have the capability to rest the bigger players for the Champions League games because you've already won the first three fixtures. And therefore, in those Leicester and Liverpools, maybe Ronaldo can get a rest in the Champions League and come in firing against Liverpool, Spurs and Leicester. So I don't think there's going to be much rotation in this team. I think there will be across the course of the whole group stage. I think we'll see it in October, but in September for the first game against Young Boys, I think Solskjaer will want three points on the board as smoothly as possible. So I don't think there's going to be much change. I think there might be a change in midfield and I might get my field midfield completely wrong. Who do you think will play midfield? I think that's the real question mark here. For me, I don't expect any real changes in defence or attack. Not after the 4-1 against Newcastle. Not after how we played. And we need Varane and, Ren and Ronaldo in this team if we're going to change our fortunes in the Champions League this year. They are the ones that have the experience. They were the team. They were the, the rock at the back and the, the, the crown at the front. The crown on the top that helped Real Madrid win the Champions League three times in a row. They have the experience of doing it. And Ronaldo, the Champions League is his favourite playing ground. He will want to win the Champions League. And I think it's our best chance at winning the trophies that we want. The Premier League is going to be tough to do that over 38 games. Anything can happen in the Champions League. And for me, I don't think Solskjaer will take any sort of risk in not getting these three points on the board. So that's my predicted starting eleven for the game. De Gea, Wan-Bissaka, Varane, Maguire and Shaw, Fred and Matic in midfield with Sancho, Bruno and Greenwood behind Ronaldo up front. That team good enough to win the Champions League? Man, maybe not. Not with that midfield, but anything can happen in knockout football. We know that. You let me know what your predicted 11 for the Young Boys game would be in the comments below as always. And make sure you join me an hour before kickoff in the United Legacy Arms tomorrow before Young Boys and after for my live match reaction. It's all kicking off this season. It's going to be exciting. Drop a like on the video for Ronaldo, for this team. And who's your predicted 11? You let me know in the comments. Take it easy.